This is not a joke. This video is a serious one. And it is something I feel like I need to address because it is affecting millions upon billions of people right now. Please listen to me when I tell you I care about you guys. If you are not doing the social distancing right now, stop and think about it. I'm talking about the major viral outbreak that is killing thousands of people, unemploying hundreds of thousands of people, and even starting to put businesses out of business. There are so many things that are happening in the world right now because of this major outbreak. And I call to you and plead with you if you are not doing the necessary social distancing. If you are not limiting and flattening the curve of the amount of people that are being infected, you are being negligent. You are putting other people at risk and you could very well be a reason by spreading the virus that somebody passes away. This is serious and this virus is scary. I know today is April 1st and originally I had a plan of posting a video today that was a joke. That was something that I had actually planned on doing for about a year. Something that I think you guys would have enjoyed, you would have laughed at, and would have been something fun. But given the circumstances of things, it just didn't feel right right now. Right now, I want you to think about others as well as yourself. Think about the people that are at risk because, frankly, you might even know one of them. I'm immunosuppressed. I am a high-risk case when it comes to illnesses, especially such as this one. If that tells you anything, it's that there are hundreds of thousands of more people like me that you don't even realize are high-risk. People that have diabetes. People that have high blood pressure. And even people that you see on a daily basis that may have some minor underlying condition that maybe they don't even know about yet. But we also need to band together and have hope. And the easiest way to work together to make this situation better is to do what we were asked to do, to do social distancing, to help other people that are at risk where we can, to wash our hands, to clean things thoroughly, and to stop hoarding toilet paper, masks, gloves, and other things, and misusing them. The people who are working the hardest and are at the highest risk right now are medical professionals. They're having to treat people that have this very, very contagious virus. And they're doing so to the point to where we are running out of equipment for them and equipment to try and save lives. This is a scary time. And this is one that none of us should be taking lightly. Please, please heed my words. Do your research and check out what the coronavirus is, what it is doing, and how it's impacting the world. And do what you can to mitigate it, to help the front lines, those working towards a cure, towards treating patients, towards feeding us, but also recognize what this is also showing us with the earth, with climate change with how we are causing issues there. I also want you to take a moment when you have a chance to go outside. Here in LA, it's highly noticeable how cl much cleaner the air is and recognize the difference that it's already made and the fact that so many people are not driving. Because with all of this going on, we we're focused on the one thing and that's the virus and how it's impacting so many different things, whether it be health, livelihood, economic situations with the stock market going down and so many things along those lines, because there's an opportunity here, an opportunity for us to easily see the negative impact we are having on the world around us and the fact that maybe this is an opportunity for us to fix a lot of our errors and recognize the good that is taking place as well. Because while this is scary and while so much is happening, there's so much good out there. There's so many people out there trying to help. Look at the medical professionals that are helping out. Look at the 
and individuals that are trying to deliver groceries or help out higher risk individuals who still need to go shopping and get their food and do things like that, but doing something nice for other people. Hold on to those things and think about how you can help and how you can make it through this. Find unique ways to come together in a time where we have to be so physically apart and do what you can to help those most impacted by what's going on right now. I have seen fellow creators of mine donate money directly to people who lost their jobs. I have seen creators come together and charities come together to push towards doing something good. I've seen the government come to realize maybe some small things, but necessary things in how we inadequately prepared for this and what we need to do now to make up for that lack of preparedness. Recognizing the needs of the people and the needs of hospitals and the needs of so many other things around there right now. Do what you can to help and don't overstretch yourself at the same time. This is a chance to show our true humanity and to care for each other, showing compassion and love for anybody regardless of how things are. Because this is serious. And I truly believe that when we get through this, and if we can fight through this in the proper ways, we have an opportunity to come back better as a society and as individuals. Don't give up hope, hang in there, and know I'm gonna be here trying to create and entertain as much as possible but also take this very seriously. This was not a joke. This was serious and is serious. Remember there is hope, there is light, and there's beauty inside of you. Smile always. 